Hi everyone, welcome to the Bioinformatics Pro channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to filter variants, right? So I'm going to read an example VCF file and I'm going to show you how to filter variants in that particular file. So for the criteria, I'm going to use quality, all right? There are different criteria available that you can use to filter variants. You can filter based on quality, based on variant type, uh, based on chromosome, etc. So uh, there are different criteria. So for the tutorial, we are focusing on quality. But in subsequent tutorials, I will show you how to filter based on other criteria. If you also have an issue, you can also book a session with me and I will take you through the various criteria for filtering VCFRs or for filtering variants in a VCFR. Okay, you can also filter based on annotations, but we will cover them later on. So for it, we are going to use BCF tools. Okay, so make sure you have BCF tools installed on your system. I have tutorials that show how to install BCF tools. So tell us this you find links to those videos. You can install using Quanda, Mamba, you can also compile from source. All right. So just tell us question you'll find all the tutorials you need to set up BCF tools. So let's begin by downloading the example data. So we will visit this GitHub report of mine. Okay, so this report here, I'll leave the link to this page in the description box. So when we are here, search for this file variant underscore agy99.raw.vcf.g so there's a raw vcf file all right so we are going to filter and look at the variant and by the way if you want to learn how to call variants i have to ask on that so check the social media, you'll find the links to those videos or let me just say the playlist i have an entire playlist for that so check the social media, you'll find links to um that playlist okay so visit this page and then to download click it and then you'll be sent to this other page all right so here i will download by getting the link okay so i'll just come to this side alternatively you can click this button to download but because i'm going to work on the terminal on the command line i'll just get a link and download from there so the most important thing here is that you need to download the file that's what is important so just make sure it gets by the different approaches okay so i'll right click the raw and i'll copy the link all right and then this is what I'm going to do. I'll open my terminal. And then I'm going to create a directory. I'll say make the variants. And then I'll CD into it. So this is going to be my working directory. Let me CD into it first. Okay. So this is going to be my working directory. Okay. So now I'm going to download that VCF file. So I'll say wget and I'll paste the link there. So there's this. And I'm going to run it so this will download that vcf file for me okay so it's done it's a small file so don't worry so do an ls you'll find it there okay so we are going to filter based on quality but before we do that let's do a small query i would say this i'll say bcf tools okay and then i am going to do this i just want to check that the quality field is available so bcf tools and then i will say Query dash f. I bring my quotes and I'll say quality. Let me just do it again. I think this is better. So I bring my dash f. I bring my quotes like this. And I bring my percentage. I'll say wow, this is it. Okay. So there's the actual field or the actual column that has the quality. And I'll say slash n. Then I'll bring my code again and I'll supply the file. So let's execute this command. Perfect. So now we see some values coming up. Okay. So this tells us that the quality field has been populated. You can also do this. Let's use this other approach. We can do this. I can say zgrep because I'm using a .gz file. And then I'll bring a quote and I'll say this and then I'll say hash okay like this I'll close it and then I'll specify the file and then I bring a pipe and I'll say till minus n1 so let's execute this command Okay, so this will give us the full, right? So this approach will also give us the full. So we know the quality field is there, which is fine. Okay, 
there are other flows as well. You might have covered a separate tutorial where I showed how to explore VCF files, okay, by covering for these headers, okay. So if you're interested in that video, just tell us where you find the link to that video, okay. All right. Now let's so now we know that the quality field there. We also got the values. That's fine. But let's replay this. Let's record this command again. And this time, what I'm going to do, I'm going to sort, right? And I'm going to just go ahead like this to get some of the stuff there. So we have some that's at zero, okay? And so we can just say head dash n. Let's say twenty. Let's say hundred. Okay, so we see them there. Okay, so we have some that are zero, some are also zero point zero. So basically, we have some low quality snips, or let's say low quality variant because this one we have variants in there. So variants we have snips, indels, and other types. All right, so uh, just take note of that. So let's also record the command again. This time, let's say till. Let's use till to get some high scores. Okay, we also have some here. Okay, so we have some scores here that we can use. So these are high scores. All right. So with this particular data, with this particular VCF, okay, the variant, some are of low quality, some of high quality. So this is why filtering is important. Okay, so when you filter, you get your high quality variants, and then you can use that for downstream analysis. Okay, so this is just to kickstart the whole process okay so now we are going to filter okay we will also perform a bit of statistics then we will just look at that so first of all let's do this let's just filter let's say you want to filter by a threshold of let's say 30. So that means we are going to filter and then select a variant with quality equals to or greater than 30. So 30 is going to be a threshold. So to filter in BCF tools, you use the option BCF tools filter. Now let's check that first. I think that'll be better. The documentation for BCF tools filter, which is here. So there's it. I'll leave the link to this page in the description box. So BCF tools filter, you supply your options and then you indicate the file. So with the filtering, you can specify an expression, okay? So you can have the include expression or the exclude expression. So there's an exclude expression. So that means that whatever result that we return will exclude the information you supplied. And then we also have the includes expression, which tells me that the expression was applying. Okay. Variance returned should include the variance that satisfy that criteria. Okay. That's half that threshold. Let me put it that way. Okay, there are other things you can do here, but I mean, you can read more about it. For this tutorial, I'm keeping it simple because some of my viewers may be beginners, so I think it's important that I make it as simple as possible for all of them to understand. So I'll focus on just the include expression. All right, so later on, if you want a detailed tutorial, you can always book a session with me and then you can work it out. So we are going to the include expression and then we will specify something in there. Okay. So let's get back to the terminal and then proceed. So I will get back now. Okay, so we are back to the terminal. So that's what we are going to do. I earlier on said we are going to use a threshold of 30. So we are going to do that. So I'll do this first. First of all, I'm going to do accounts. I think it's important I show you how to do the statistics. Let's just say you want to get the number of variants that have quality greater equals to 30. Okay, so we say BCF tools and then we say filter. So there's the expression. Okay, then you say dash i and then you indicate your expression. So the expression should be in quotes. So you bring your quotes and then here we are using the quality. So it's qual. And we say greater equals to 30. Like this. All right, and then this is what we do. You bring your single quotes again. So this is the option that we are using. The include expression. And then you specify the file. 
So the file is what variant agy99.pro.vc.d. So this is the raw VCF. Okay, so this is it. Okay. So let's do this. Let's just count. So we have it here. So if you want to count, okay, you can add this pipe. You can see grep dash v dash c. You bring this and you bring this. So this an expression to get some parts and some lines. Okay. So let's execute this command. So this will give you the counts. Okay, for variance, uh, that's how the quality greater equals to 30. Okay. Now let's even count the entire variance, everything. Or let's count everything. So we can say, let me just do it this way. We can say Z grep. Okay, that's V, that's C. Then this, then what do you do? You specify the file. So let's count. Okay, so when we count, this is the total number of variants, and then variants with quality greater or equal to 30. This is the number. Okay, so you can see there's a reduction. Okay, reduction of over 6,000 variants. Okay. So these are things you have to do after you have called your variants and you have your outputs. So there's just one of the things you have to do to get your high quality systems and then proceed with the dashboard analysis. Okay, now we are now going to save it. Okay, we've done a bit of statistics. If you want more details, you can always book a session with me and you can work it out. And you can also check my Patreon channel. I have some tutorials on that. Okay, so now this is what we are going to do. This is the main activity. We are going to filter and then save the outputs. That's what we are going to do. So we've already done the first command. So we have to add something else to save it. So I'll just repeat. I'll just say bcf tools filter dash i. I'll bring everything again. File with our equals to 30. I'll bring my quotes. I specify the file and then I'll specify an output. So I'll start with dash o z. So o z means that we will save it as a compressed file so we receive that's dot vcf dot gz the vcf files if it's uncompressed it can be a large file if you are dealing with a large genome all right so using this option compresses it for you so that the size the, the data size of the file size reduces all right now we have let's indicate the output file name so dash o space and you bring the output file name so i can say variant underscore ag y99 dot floated dot vcf dot dz so this is how i'm going to use now you notice the file that we downloaded it was variant underscore agy99 dot raw dot vcf dot dz because it's a raw vcf and then here i'm saying dot floated dot vcf dot dz so you always need to have a good naming convention so the naming convention and also include a description for example here it's raw so anyone who looks at this file, anyone who gets the name, or let's say gets the information and notice that this is a raw VCF file, it's unprocessed. Okay. And then when you come here, it's filtered. So that means that there has been some processing. So these things can also help you to keep track of your data. So by giving some naming convention, which describes what you've done, it allows you to put things in order. It allows you to get your files organized. It can even help you to do batch processing. All right. So let's say you have thousands of VCF files, some are raw, some are filtered. If they all have the same name or there's no description, then it becomes difficult to process or sort them. But if you have some description like this, then you can even use some wildcards to process or get some stuff done. So it's always important to have a good naming convention. Okay, now let's save this file. Okay, so the file has been saved. So let's do an LS. We are going to find that file here, All right? So you can still confirm the number here. So you can say zgrep that venue that c. You bring your pattern, then you specify the file. Okay, so there's the filtered file. And then you will get your output. All right, so this is how we do it. So 
in this tutorial, we've been, we've been able to filter, okay, I repeat, in this tutorial, we have been able to filter some variants and we have some output. You can stop the time if you want to be stringent or if you want to use a higher quality score, then it's up to you. That one you have to decide. You can look at what is being used in your field or you can look at best practices or you can also look at publications to see what was done and you can follow the same. So for the filtering criteria, let me just say for the filtering, yeah, for the filtering criteria as well as the filtering threshold, that one you have to just follow the best practices, ask the community to see what has been done and then try to follow same. Okay. The most important thing is to justify why you are doing some of these things. So why you select some options. Okay. So that's about it. So if you also want to support this channel, you can just buy me a coffee or use some other links to support this channel. You can also tip me in proportion to what you've learned. All right. So that's what I have today. So if you want to learn more, okay, if you want more tutorials on how to handle VCF files, then I will suggest you check the playlist right here.